Hi, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you've already been subscribed or if you've seen my videos before, it's been a long time. I had plans to do a video um, like every month and then twice a month and three times and like kind of go from there, but COVID happened. It's easy to blame COVID because it was really crazy times, but really that that's what happened. Um, but here I am, I feel like I'm in such a happy, good place that I want to try to do this again because I love sharing. If you follow me on Instagram, I'm always sharing makeup, sometimes food, um, some clothes and stuff like that. Um, I just think YouTube is a little bit of a, a better audience when it comes to like sharing luxury things because I feel like anybody can search that specific topic. Um, I think with you with the uh, Instagram, uh, I think that's more geared towards like my makeup stuff and like my makeup career and job. I'm also a licensed esthetician, so my Instagram is a little bit more about that. So I really would like my YouTube to be more about, um, you know, things. Not really about what I do as much. It's more about like my personal like interests as far as like shopping and goods and things like that. So. With that being said, it is my birthday today, and over the weekend I did go to Las Vegas, and I went with my best friend, and then when I got home, my husband had a surprise party for me, which was awesome, so very, very lucky and blessed to have him in my life because he was like, go on the trip, have fun, and I told him, hey, uh, there's this bag I've been after, and I think I might get it, and I did. <laughs> Jeez, it's a pretty big bag, but shopping bag, but the bag itself is... Uh, a lot smaller than I anticipated, which it's actually perfect. It's not too small and it's not big. I think it's really great. Um, I did open it because I showed my husband yesterday. Um, so I wrapped it up as best as I could and I'm gonna show it to you now. So I did not check a bag. So I like carried this thing. I folded it up in the airport, folded it up and like carried it around with me and like stuck it under the seat in front of me and everything because I was like, you know what? I am not leaving that bag behind. This is my second purchase from Gucci. This is my first handbag from Gucci um, and it's from the store, which is really cool. Um, I was after a different Gucci bag for a long time and I'm really glad I didn't get that one. I'm super happy I chose this one. So um, I saw um, this other YouTuber, she's really fashionable. Like I love the way she dresses. Her name is Jeronica Mycia. I believe and um, she I like the way she dresses in general and then she posted this bag and then I found her on Instagram and I was like this is exactly like the style I love um, and all of that so I tried to wrap it I think I did a pretty decent job but here we go it was in my luggage so that's why the bag is kind of bowed like that open this way oh shoot I had it right the first time come on here we go this is such a nice box I think the Louis Vuitton boxes are a little bit more sturdy if I'm being honest but who really cares bag is kind of like cheese clothy also yeah no makeup I have lipstick on but no makeup letting my skin breathe what <laughs> this is the Gucci Globetrotter vanity that just came off the side vanity bag oh my gosh I can't believe I have this so just know I work a lot I work hard and I really do love and appreciate um, handbags, especially handbags that have so much um, detail. Isn't that so cool? I love the way it sounds. So I watched another video, a YouTube video this morning actually before I came on here and it was, I'll link her if I can find her again. She's another YouTuber and she did a very in-depth bag review on this bag and I guess she does it on other bags. Like in the comments people are like, you're so detailed. And she really just made me that much more excited about this. So this is a collaboration with a British um, luggage uh, designer. They're called Globetrotter. And um, I think they've collaborated with other like fashion houses or designers or whatever. But this came out, I believe, in 2018. At first, it was super hard to get a hold of. And 
Um, apparently now even it's hard to get a hold of in a boutique. So you have to like call um, and find out where it's at. Um, I had one on hold two weeks ago at the Fashion Square um, mall in Scottsdale, but I knew I was gonna go to Vegas the following weekend. So I was like, you know what? Let me just wait to see if I find it in Vegas. If it's there, cool. So I got this at the forum shops at Caesars Palace. And when the sales associate brought it out to me, he's like, here you go. And it was like in this cardboard box, all taped up. He's like, we literally just got it in. Um, we have two in stock, one is upstairs in the stock room. He's like, we don't put them out because they sell out so fast. And I was like, well, 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 now I'm sold. <laughs> just kidding, I knew I wanted it. So um, it has a bamboo top, which is really cool to me to have like a natural like piece of like, I don't know, obviously these are leather, but like to have like wood on the bag is super cool to me. It seems so like vintage Gucci, which is awesome. I love, love, love that it is silver hardware and I'm obsessed with these rivets. Apparently these rivets are all like, you know, hammered in or installed. I don't know how they do it by hand. Um, and the D-rings on here, I don't know if they're called D-rings on this, but I've heard people call them D-rings on like Louis Vuitton bags, but the rings are very thick, feel very nice. Um, the canvas on this, it feels nice and durable. And of course this padlock is, is really cool too. So you press down. I put my hand here because I don't want it to like slam against this, but it springs right open. And I haven't taken the protective paper off yet. So you open it up like that and you have cotton burgundy lining inside. And of course the contents are like the adjustable removable strap along with the keys. Then um, the little care booklets and like the little, I don't know if you can hear that, but Gizmo's in here now. Um, little flavor saver packet, whatever the, like the things to keep them fresh. <laughs> So care booklet, Ooh, lots of care booklets, okay. And then like the little, I don't know what that is, like what that means, but it's in there. But it's in there, it's very fancy. So of course I will save all this stuff. I love like, you know, when my bags come with stuff like this, which of course it's brand new, so it's going to have it. Shoot, all those don't fit in there. But this was my receipt thing. Again, um, so here's my receipt. I got it from the forum shops at Caesars. Um, you can obviously look this bag up um, yourself and find out what the retail price is. Uh, taxes brought it up just a little bit more. So taxes were $165.83. So $165.83 is what I paid in taxes. But again, you can look this up, find out how much it's gonna cost for you wherever you're at. Um, I. I'm so grateful to have this because it is very unique. Um, I know that it's straight up like a travel piece, but I don't travel like that. Like, hello, no. This is going to be used as a handbag for me. Um, yeah, I love it. So I, I am wearing like kind of like a funky, very casual outfit. Obviously I don't have makeup on. I'm just going kind of a little more hidden. I'm gonna hit the grocery store right now, not with this. Um, and then I'm going to run some other errands at like the mall. I'm going to um, exchange some stuff. I'm going to just run errands at the mall. But before we do that, let's finish opening this up. That's nice. It has like, it says Gucci where the keys were held. The keys feel pretty good. They're not super heavy. Um at all, but it's a nice little like, um, what you call this? Loopy, key loopy thing. I guess if you wanted to accessorize the bag, you could undo the loop and then like hook it in here. I'm not gonna do it now, but you know, oh shoot, you can't. Okay, so pretend that this is here. Doesn't that look cool? I'll stand up too and show you. My pants are so baggy, which is kind of a good thing. I've been laying off the bread lately. All right, so she's locked and put the key in straight in. I asked the sales associate, I said, hey, are these keys like uh, numbered and only work on this set, only works on this bag? And he said, no. He said, any of these, um, uh, what do you call this? Vanity bags, the key is universal. And I was like, okay. So 
I mean, what are the chances of you running into somebody that has, you know, whatever. Anyway, so um, let's put it in there. Nice. So you turn it that way and it pops it right open. And it's so cute. The details on this lock too are really pretty. It has Gucci um, pressed in right there. And along the edges, you have like this nice little um, like etching, if you will, along there. Oh, it's just so pretty. I love that. And back here you have the hinges. And then I'm sure I showed you already, but inside these are the hinges as well. And then of course you have your little Gucci tag back here. And it's, yeah, it has a serial number on it and everything. I will be taking these off soon, but for now I'm just gonna leave that lining there to protect it. Um, in the video, that YouTuber was saying that she feels like the interior lining could have been done a little bit better, um, that she wishes it wasn't cloth or like cotton, that she wishes it was something else. Um, if she's saying that and she's been wearing it a lot longer, then I guess I wish that too. Oh shoot, you know what? I'm gonna be very like particular. On the tag right here, it has like a little popped stitch. Can you see that like against my finger a little bit? Not the biggest deal to me. I'll probably just cut it or burn it, <laughs> but that's there. I mean, at the end of the day, these are handmade and they're not going to be absolutely super perfect. Um, all I hope is that, you know, it is, it, it does what it's supposed to do. The mechanisms work, the handle isn't falling off, stuff like that. So I'm happy with it. So the keys work, which is great, and they do say Gucci on there. And they're cool because they look very vintage. That's what I like about this bag too, is that it seems timeless. Like the colors are great. The bamboo handle, it's like modern and old mixed together. You have top handle and you also have an adjustable removable strap and to me that's great whenever i'm buying something i always like try it, whether it's super high priced or low um i really want it to be versatile and worth my money and i want to be able to get as much use out of, use out of it as possible <coughs> excuse me and i feel like this does that for me oh look it even has my hair stuck on it from when i tried it on at the store um, these are super nice clasps. They also have Gucci in there. And wow, it's very pretty. So I used to have the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse and when I would hook it on, I wouldn't hook it on where it clasps outside. I would do it where it would clasp like towards the inside, where it hooks to the inside. So to avoid micro scratches, I am going to try and open this like that so that I can avoid scratches as much as possible even though as I wear it and it moves, it is going to scratch underneath. And as it rests, it will scratch all along here. But just me being brand new with the bag, um, I'm gonna try to take good care of it. So there are only three notches on the adjustable strap. Um, I'm 5'2", so we will see how, how it works. Again, like I said, oh, and it's on the shortest um, loop right now. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. Um, like I said, I'm not wearing anything fancy or anything, so I'm going to try it on for you. And yeah. All right. So again, my pants are huge, which I'm not mad at it, but look, <laughs> they're big. I got to get them taken in. So here's the bag. There's Gizmo. Always trying to see what I'm up to. Here it is. I'm 5'2". I would say I'm like 140 pounds right now. Um, I don't know if that helps, but I like when people tell me how much they weigh and like um, how tall they are because then I kind of have a better idea of like what it's going to look like on me. Um, nothing's in the bag. It's just like that. I am wearing like a little bit of like flat form sandals. So it gives me a little bit of height. I don't think I would wear it like this because it does seem kind of low. I am more of a crossbody person. So, and my hair is straightened. Usually I have curly hair. So I feel very, like I don't know how to just let my hair be. But look at that. I think that fits a little bit better. It just feels a little bit more natural, a little more comfortable. 
It is a little box, so it's almost like a little lunch box, so it sticks off the body, but it not too much. I feel like um, the Alma BB by Louis Vuitton sticks out more because it goes from like kind of skinny, it goes out. So this at least is like straight down. I think if you're gonna put it behind you, it's cool. You can walk in, okay. This is unfortunate that it doesn't have another little leather secure thing to hold this in place because it just sort of sticks out like that. I really think it needed to have something, but whatevers. <laughs> so if I go to open it and I'm like this, I have my leg popped out, like my knee popped out a little bit. I press down, open up, no big deal, just in. As far as what can fit in there, I guess I will make another video on that. I really just wanted to um, reveal it for you. Uh, but I think it's really nice. I think if I was out and I had it on and walk in, I can rest my arm like this and like kind of hang on to it. You know, like if I was walking and I just was chilling like this, it's not uncomfortable. It feels good. I feel like if I was like trying to squeeze by somewhere, I could easily tuck my hand like this and protect it or like not hit somebody, bump into someone, if I was just like, oh, excuse me, or <laughs> whatever. Um, and let's say it's time to sit down, easily grab it here, and you know, sit down and hold it by, by the handle. But I think it's great. I think that it is really beautiful, and it is very different from anything that I do have in my current purse collection. Um, yeah, I think it, it blends in really well. I still am thinking I want to sell this bag, even though it's a classic, I just, I just, I don't know, I want to keep it, but then at the same time, I'm like, I don't really use it, and I don't know, like, this is way more exciting to me than this, and I don't know. So these are my two logo bags. Actually, I have three logo bags. Let me show you really quick before we say goodbye. This is my other logo bag. So this is a Dooney and Burke rainbow bag. Oh, I love it so much. This is, uh, I guess the word is nostalgic for me um, because uh, this was like the first really nice handbag, the brand that I was, that I was, uh, that I ever owned. And it was a gift on my 18th birthday. Um, from a wonderful man who has since passed away. It was my mom's um, boyfriend and he passed away. Um, it wasn't that particular bag, it was actually the barrel bag and then a mean girl ruined it, so whatever. But um, my husband bought me that one and I love it so much. So those are my three logo bags. Everything else I have is like plain leather um, and there's no logos on it and I like that. But that's why I thought this was perfect because just a little bit different. It's so beautiful. It is super functional. It is technically a vanity case. Um, and I think that's really cool. Somebody said that um, when you're holding this, that it like, if it's empty, it falls back, but mine is not tipping back. So I don't know what happened with them, but it it's not tipping. Oh, there it goes. Yeah, I feel like you have to really try hard to make it tip. It's good. Blend in. That's my other dog, if you heard that. She's itchy right now. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this bag reveal. I think it is a beauty. Uh, if you're interested in seeing what fits inside and maybe like a more decent outfit where, you know, my makeup is done and I look a little better and I have pants that fit. Um, 